I mean, there was a, there was a lot of buildup. I mean, the emotions, like if, if anyone that was watching this game and they were ups and downs, I mean, going down in the first three minutes against the number four team in the country, I mean, that's the worst scenario. You know, you don't want to be in that position. And so I was obviously disappointed, but if it's going to happen, like, might as well be early so we have time to come back. And I told the team to believe. Before we walked out on this field, I told the team we have to believe in what we can do tonight, what we can accomplish. And so, you know, with that belief and their goals and knowing we're at home, their response to after we got scored on was huge. Because everyone saw it. as soon as we scored, we were in it. And then the grind set in. We had a lot of the play in the first half, but then as the game went on, they have so much depth, so much talent, they're so athletic. And so we were on our heels, but we, like, we grinded out and they won with their passion and their belief. North Carolina's got tradition. They've got, you know, I'm, I think people are probably lose track, 22, 23 national championships. You know, but we've got, we've got history with our program too, you know. Well, what's important to Tiff and I is just continuing to, you know, to define what the culture of the team is, right? We've got a lot of talented players on the team, but, um, you know, obviously Tiff knows because she's been, you know, in world championship teams. and. Talent doesn't always win championships, so I think we're really figuring out what this team is about, you know, and, and we're defining our culture game by game. This game was very personal for me. You know, I have so much respect for Anson Dorrance and, and Carolina and the dynasty that he has built. You know, I am, I'm a reflection of Anson. And so if you were to ask Anson if he's going to get beat by anybody, I know he's going to want to be beat by Tar Heel. And so I, I received the best compliment from him tonight. He said, your players play just like you. And he would always say that I played with heart and passion, and I thought that's what I want my team to be about. Tonight is a huge confidence uh, boost. I think, you know, they know, like, if, if we can beat Carolina, then we should get onto the field every day, knowing that, like, we could beat anyone this season. But they have to do it in a way that is um, confident, but not arrogant. Like, we are never arrogant. We come in and we do business, we take care of business, and we believe in each other. Um, so my goal is to kind of bring this emotion kind of back to the ground and bring them back down and um, focus now on one game at a time. That's, that's where we have to go right now. Uh, Christine just scored. Uh, we were 1-1 for a two overtime, and she just did what she needed to do and took the home, like the win for us. That was this is the coolest <laughs> moment of my life, I think. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. It's legendary. Legendary. Woo! You know, I think we're we're definitely going to enjoy this win. Uh, I think it was a hard-fought game, and uh, it, it, the players are are certainly uh, <laughs> fatigued, but. You know, the next game uh, is still going to come. I took this job because I feel like we can win a national championship here. Like, I'm, I've am i won in my life, and that's my goal as a coach. Like, my goal is to win at the highest level as a coach. And so um, I'm at UCF because we can win a national championship here. And it, we showed it tonight. And um, I know that any prospect that was in the stands tonight, any prospect that was watching that game tonight, like how would you, how can you not want to play for us? Because you saw the passion, the energy, like it was fun. Like it was a grind, but I was absolutely enjoying every minute, every minute of this game.